Welcome to New York, guys. I'm Jason Inman. And I'm Tiffany Smith, and we have got an inside look at the new animated movie, Batman Bad Blood. And I promise we won't make any Taylor Swift jokes. Yeah, Taylor Swift jokes are so 1989. Get ready for DC All Access. DC blew our minds with an amazing 30th anniversary Dark Knight Returns panel at New York Comic Con last week. Please welcome the Dark Knight himself, Mr. Frank Miller. Frank Miller himself made a surprise appearance, and if you couldn't make it to the panel, check out our exclusive coverage of the event tomorrow. Vertigo continues to roll out their 12 new titles with the Twilight Children number one. Gilbert Hernandez and Darwin Cook team up to tell the tale of a mysterious white orb that completely upends life in a small Latin American village. You can grab your copy starting tomorrow. The new series Superman, Lois and Clark features DC's original power couple living in a new world. Superman is trying to prevent his enemies from taking hold in his new home while also keeping his nine-year-old son safe. Issue number one flies on the store shelves this week. Batman Bad Blood is the latest blockbuster from DC Animation, and it features the premiere of Batwoman and Batwing. And right now, we've got a look at the exclusive trailer. I'm gonna show Gotham who's top dog around here. If that's your best Batman, you're not gonna fool anyone, Grayson. There's no way you're gonna pull this off without my help. If Batman doesn't return soon... I know. All bloody hell's gonna break loose. We should work together as family. This isn't gonna be easy. Just follow my lead. He wanted to create the perfect soldier. I was the strongest of them all. I don't trust her. Just because I wear this doesn't mean I'm a part of your cult. Call me Batwing. Batwing? That's original. We're just getting started. From here on, it's only family. Basically, it picks up with Batman kicking ass, right? As he usually does. As he does, very well. And gets a little out of his depth. Um, I'm just going to tell you what happens. Batwoman comes along and messes everything up. No, she doesn't. Uh, she comes along, but, you know, she's using guns, and that's not really Batman's thing. She gets herself into a little bit of trouble. Batman sacrifices himself in order to save her and is never seen or heard from again. Is that all the beginning of this movie? Did you just spoil most of it? That is, that is the opening two minutes of the movie. And so the Bat family comes together. Damien comes back from the monastery where he's trying to find himself. Nightwing has been trying to fill the shoes of Batman, but not doing a very good job. And along the way, Luke Fox, who ends up being Batwing, and also Batwoman join the fray, and they try to solve the mystery of what happened to Batman. I was the one that suggested him, so I feel very good about it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I want Batwoman, I want Batwing. I knew we were going to be doing a Batman and a Justice League per year, but within that I wanted to introduce at least one or two new characters to each franchise. And so for this one, it was great to be able to introduce Batwoman and Batwing. This is the first time we're seeing him on screen at all, so it's really cool. He becomes part of the family, and when you see Batwing, he's just taken on the role, so he hasn't, there's like room for him to develop, and hopefully, you know, there'll be sequels and we'll get to see him kind of mature into the role. We know that there's the Bat family team in this one, but there's also a villains team. Yes. So. How much fun was it for you to draw those characters and create some new looks for them? Uh, that's like the best part of my job. The villains tend to be more fun sometimes because <laughs> you could play so much more. Killer Moth is a good example. He was a lot of fun to do and, and we have such a cool rogues gallery. Just henchmen that we that we threw in for visual spice to add flavor to the action. There's so many cool like lesser known characters. Hopefully we, you know, shine a little light on them. Talk to me a little bit about the pressure of taking on a role that's never been in animated films before and it's your first time. Yeah, I didn't really feel a lot of pressure. I really felt like it was a great honor to kind of bring some life to this character because, you know, other people have talked about how so many characters have been done over the years, you know, from like Batman back in the day. Like I used to watch Adam West. As a kid, I was huge into um, the Batman the Animated Series. So there's been, you know, people who've played Batman over the years, but to step into a brand new character, I just thought it was a really cool honor to kind of give it my own story. 
spin and have a first crack at it. When I'm on my way to a voice session, I like talk as Batman in the car. But like, even if I'm going through a drive-thru, I'm like, I make it extra cheese. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. We need to like be in the car with you the next time you're going yeah. to a VO session just so we can experience that. I said medium soda. <laughs> you gave me regular. That's all the news for today, but for more DC All Access and coverage of Dark Knight 3, check out some of those videos over there. And make sure you click subscribe so you can check out our exclusive video from the Dark Knight Returns 30th anniversary panel from New York Comic Con tomorrow. That's a lot of Dark Knight. It's going to be awesome. Mm, and dark. <laughs>